Hello everyone, this is Jory from Maywood Public Library. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. So today we are going to do, I know, another base activity, but remember most activities that are done with a base could also be done um, with like any type of glass that you want to put on display. This one is going to be specifically display our inside use only. It won't be something that you're able to wash without messing it up. Here's see when we get there. But anyways, what you're going to need today is like I said, a base or glass, Mod Podge. I'm going to use a plastic cup to put the Mod Podge in so it's easier for me. Then I have a sponge brush that will help put the Mod Podge on, and then tissue paper. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was put the Mod Podge that I wanted to use in the cup, and then I started brushing the Mod Podge onto the base. But again, you can use any glass that you want really for this activity. I do recommend that this is more of a display only glass though. And this is the type of thing that also would make a really great centerpiece if you were to have a baby shower or a wedding shower. All right, so then after the Mod Podge is on, you wrap it into the tissue paper and you squeeze it kind of tight, just press it on. And the way that I wrapped it, I'm cutting off the excess materials that I won't need to use. At the top, I'm just tucking it in because I'm only going to use this for display. And then once it's wrapped on, you paint another layer of Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper just to reinforce it. And then as soon as you have all the Mod Podge on, you can let it sit until it dries. Okay, so I let it sit for about 24 hours and this is the finished effect. So it's nicely wrapped in tissue paper. I'm using mine for display, so I still have the tissue paper inside. However, you could cut it off if you want. Um, you know, if you want to put actual like flowers or water or something else in it and it would be in the way. So I hope that this was easy for you to follow. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reply to this video or you can email us at mpld at maywoodlibrary.org. Thank you.